it's been hard to keep him away in, from the studio. So Julian is back with Emmy to close out the conference. Thanks, Olivia. It has been hard indeed. There's been so much wonderfully happening here in the studio. We've heard great depth as well as breadth in terms of what needs to happen in healthcare for people with intellectual disability. And frankly, I hope you've come away feeling uncomfortable. And that's a very unusual thing, I think, to say at the end of a conference. But that discomfort that we feel, I think, reflects uh, an appropriate response to the very poor health outcomes experienced by people with intellectual disability in Australia today. And that discomfort should help us leap into action to think what can we do as individuals, as organisations in all of the different sectors, as families, as people with intellectual disability, as we work on solutions to improve the health outcomes for people with intellectual disability. Today has showcased many things, the experiences and perspectives of people with intellectual disability and families. Uh, this hasn't been passive. This has been a very active engagement of people with intellectual disability helping work on solutions. Those voices, I think, have come through very strongly. Would you agree, Olivia? Uh, yes. Great. It's been exciting, I think, to hear about the progressive thinking in healthcare and the innovation that's happening, especially the stuff we've heard about today. I think it's been helpful to reflect as we did yesterday on where we've come from and where we want to get to and how we speed up developments in healthcare. And I think it's been great to have everyone on the same screen and on the same page at this conference over the last two days. And I just wondered, Olivia, whether you had any highlights you'd like to share from today. I had so much fun today. That's great. That's actually been so obvious to all of us. So thank you. I know that a lot of hard work goes into an event like Emmys. So there are a few people that people like to thank. Firstly, thank you to all our speakers. It has been incredible to hear from such a diverse group of people. Julian, who is on your list to, th to thank. Well, Olivia, as you said, the speakers that we've had have been amazing. I think there's been a total of 31 individual speakers or presenters in some way for this conference, and everyone's just been so willing to say yes when they've been asked, so that's been incredible. I'd like to thank our consortium. Without the consortium and the way that we've established working together, we simply wouldn't have a centre. I'd like to thank our management committee that oversees the work of the centre. The inspiration for a lot of the content has come really from that committee. Our operations team have worked tirelessly to ensure that this conference could go ahead. We've had Kate championing inclusion, and I think that shone through in the conference, so a huge shout out to Kate. Katie has managed the communications and ensured that the conference is uh, being able to be uh, available to so many people around our country and also internationally, so thank you so much, Katie. And of course, at the streaming studio here, a huge thanks to Connor and his team for making sure things have just run so smoothly here, and to Ash and the team at Peanut Productions. You've done such a great job in piecing all of the bits of the puzzle together and just making it happen, so thank you. And of course, to our wonderful host, yesterday we had Judy. She's flown back to Tasmania now, and today we've had you, Olivia. You've done such an amazing job, so a great thank you to you. And it's back over to you now, I think. Um, I'm sure lots of people want to know what it is in store for 2025. Absolutely. So we're already planning our 2025 conference, believe it or not, for May next year. What we want to ensure is that the content is driven by what people with intellectual disability want to share and learn and what we know needs to happen next in healthcare. So we need to do some very agile thinking, thinking about what that conference will look like, 
We're, of course, all thinking about how to do things differently, what content might work, and we'd love your suggestions. But we also know that we all need to strive to do things better in healthcare, in inclusion, and that includes running conferences. So we'd encourage you on that journey and also encourage your candid feedback for us. And I think Olivia is now going to tell us how you can do that. Absolutely. I would like to encourage every, everyone to do the feedback survey that will get sent out after the conference. We really want to know what you liked or what you didn't like and what we can do to make the 2025 conference even better. I hope that you enjoyed the last two days as much as I have. Julie, any passing words? Well, yes, but I don't think I'll have the final say. I'd like to just say what a journey this has been. I'm greatly encouraged. I hope our audience has been encouraged too, Olivia. And I think we now know more about how to do healthcare well for people with intellectual disability than at any other time in history. So I guess my main message is let's take advantage of that knowledge that we have and let's get on with it. But of course, I think the final word should go to you, Olivia. That's it from us here. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next year. Bye. Thank you, everyone.